Hi, you guessed it, I'm doing Harley Quinn. Let's get started on this makeup tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is use this glue to cover my eyebrows. Luckily, I don't have thick eyebrows, so I don't have that much to do. I've never done this before, so we'll see how this works. For this side, is gonna be painted, and this other side is just gonna be makeup. So we're going to use this brown eyeliner pencil and mark where we're going to go. You can do anything you want. You're going to go straight down from your nose. Up at the lip line. And then from the bottom of the lip, continue on, like so. So it's getting late and my freehand drawing is not the best. So I actually have a black mask and it was probably like 50 cents at a Halloween store. So I cut it out and I'm gonna trace this on my face because I have done this probably five or ten times and cannot draw this mask on my face. So here we go. That's a lot better. Connect the lines. So when I paint this, it's going to be a lot easier. So that was hard. I think I have it and hopefully it's going to turn out, but that is the outline. Pretty much everyone is using the face paint black. I'll show you what that looks like. But I feel like this, it's almost like a crayon and I, um, I can draw better with this and it's really smooth versus the paint. It's just going to get everywhere. So I'm going to try this. So we're going to use this eyeliner. It's almost like a black crayon. I love it. And it's nice and soft. So let's try this. So it took forever to freehand. So sometimes, you know, when I do these late night videos, um, I'm going to get stencils. That's the best. Thank goodness I had a mask. I should do bloopers on my hand drawing. We're going to set it and then we're going to put eyeshadow, black eyeshadow on it. So I just set it with loose powder and then we're going to go in with black eyeshadow. This is a shimmery black I'm going to use. Can you tell it's a shimmery black? It's a shimmery black. Press that on there. Oh, I, I actually kind of like the shimmery part of it. It's pretty. Rather than just a regular black. Sparkles again, guys. Sparkles. Sparkles everywhere. Look at the difference. I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but it's pretty. Can I also say I had a lot of makeup on the Joker that I recently did, my last video, and Juno, J-U-N-O, is the best thing to take off all the makeup, and I highly recommend that. It looks pretty good. I like this black. I wish you can see the shine on this. It's so pretty. Every once in a while, I don't know why, every time I do makeup, a tutorial, my face itches. And so a lot of times I have a full makeup on and I can't really scratch. So I just take this and I just like kind of poke the places where it's itchy. I'm feeling better with this mask that I have the stencil, thank goodness. That 
would have taken an I was I think I must have drawn it like 10 times and also the best thing ever is makeup wipes I have used many of those and the other thing that is great is q-tips for the little corners or mistakes Slow process, but it's working. I will probably go in with an angle brush on the corners. Black is very hard to clean up if you make a mistake. This is Haas Laboratories style. The colors are beautiful. The colors are so pretty. Going slow so I don't go outside the lines. Pretty good mask. I'm debating if I should go, I don't want it too thick, so I'm just gonna make it thin. I probably should have went thin here, but it's fine. It still looks like a mask and I'll put more makeup on so and mascara so it's gonna fill up so the ankle brush okay I can scratch this I don't have any makeup on itchy 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 uh, the ankle brush works wonders on the edges have you heard that my dog is snoring so cute. I sometimes feel she has sinus problems, but. Get close, as close as I can to this. Wow, angle brush. This is working really good. I'm a perfectionist, so you'll see me go over things multiple times, but I usually edit that for you guys so you don't have to see it over and over. Blue that I used, that actually worked really good, but I will have to tell you that this is black, so it doesn't show, but it's, I would love to try it on white. That's when you'll really see it. Let's see if it works. And then at the end, I'll put a shadow, a white iridescent shadow on that. But that is my mask so far. It's pretty good. As I turn, I need this on here. Good thing I turned. Okay. Let's move on. Let's try this cream paint. This is what they recommended. Try not to get it on the black. That would not be good. I have these little ones. Hopefully that's going to work on the smaller spaces. This look is quite hard and I'm self-taught so I'm just trying different things out and hopefully it works and I have been using the sheer white um, to smooth out the paint because things weren't working for me, but we've gotten it to look smooth now. So I've used this beauty blender to dig in here and smooth this out. And I kind of like this look. So it's a little shiny, which I like sparkly and shiny. So 
this is the look here for now. This took a while to do, but we made it and let's get to the next part. So let's move on. We're going to use these light grays here. Use a fluffier brush. Gonna prime the eyes. Prime the eyes. Gonna try the red. I need to get a fluffy brush, but I have some red on here, so I'm just going to use this for now. More sparkles. Can't have enough. Look at the big size. Just painting. <laughs> I'm just super happy that I got the white to smooth out and that was with the eyeshadow. So who knew? And it was a, a, um, a kind of like iridescent shiny so that helps. And the, the mask stencil that I had. So all the little tricks to make things a little easier. And trying this new Harley Quinn out. I don't know what to expect. So I just do the best I can. So pretty happy with it so far. So now I'm going to outline the red with the black. I can't find my black lip liner. So I'm going to use this black, the sparkly black that works so well with everything else. Hopefully it will work.
just lined it a little bit. This is a pretty red. Okay, there's that side. Now let's start on the other side. Use this color for the other side of the face. I would have put the red lip up last, but I'm, I'm following a tutorial, so. I think I'm going to try this one. Okay, we're going to do a heart. Let's see if I can draw a heart here. It's pretty good. Fill it in. My favorite black right here. Now we need to write rotten right here. So I'm going to try to use this and sharpen it and see if I can. Writing words, I can, writing words I can do really well, but freehand on my face, not a hard surface. So let's go. So I don't know if you can see it. R-O-T-T-E-N. I wish I would have pushed it over or did it a little smaller. It's kind of close to my lips, but let's see how it looks. So it's getting late and I cannot find a single thing. So what we're going to do is normally this looks like a black eyeliner, but it's actually lash glue. So we're going to make it work. It's a little lopsided, but it'll do. Guys, I'm super happy. And these eyelashes, this is my second time using these eyelashes, and they are amazing for this look again. So, thanks to Kiss. So here's this side. The colors are amazing. I'm a little... I, I would have loved to have done this rotten a little slower and perfect, but you know, she's just crazy. So I love this look. I'm glad I did it. It took a long time, but I'm a perfectionist. So that was the hard part and this mask took forever and I think it turned out good and everything's 
sparkly, so. Oh, there's the red. I think I wanna do a little more red. Just a moment, let me get my red. I want that red to be really, really red. Now I wanna do it so my eyelashes don't fall off. So I think I just need a little. They're so long, the eyelashes. I just want a really, really pretty red here. Ooh, that pops. Lots of red. Oh, that's so much better. I think I'm gonna just do the blue as well. There's dots and red down here too. That's so much better. This is really pretty. I wish it could be like this. Let me look at you like this. <laughs> My mask is on, so you can't really see that much red. Let's try to just do it on the tip here. Yeah, there we go. That's so pretty, this red. Much better. What a big difference. I'm gonna go and do the blue as well. So let me make that a little brighter. Put it up a little higher so you can see it above the eyelashes. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Much better. Do some more blues here. She's kind of has blue there. This is the finished look of Harley Quinn. I actually love it. It's It was super fun, but it was a hard, long, video so i will edit and cut it short for you guys thanks for watching and i'll have more videos coming soon so like and subscribe to my channel